Shannon Doherty's fight with stage four cancer has made her bond with Sarah Michelle Gellar stronger than ever. And only E.T. sat down the two best friends for a conversation that will uplift your spirits. So first of all, I have to apologize that Entertainment Tonight sent this correspondent tonight. Um, she's a little unprofessional. I'm super disappointed. I mean, this is gonna be rough. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. What's the most important thing that you want people to know about you? Oh, um, I'm gonna throw you a curveball right at me. I mean, yeah, you definitely just just threw one right at me. Um, I don't know. I think that like that I'm good. I love it when people say, you know, we're praying for you and everything else, but I'm doing better than okay. I'm doing well. Like, I feel strong and healthy and confident and happy. And is that why you chose to share your diagnosis? I mean, the original reason why I chose to share the diagnosis was it was going to come up anyway, and it is my story. So I wanted to come out with it, but since then, the more that I share, I also want people to not hear stage four cancer and think of the person that going into hospice and they can't work and you get written off so quickly. I'm able to work a 16, 18 hour day. I'm not, just I don't in case anyone's it. watching, I am not <laughs> able to do I that. It was February when Shannon went public with the devastating news her breast cancer had returned. This time it was stage four and it spread to her spine. Leading up to the announcement, Shannon told her closest friends and family during an intimate dinner with her oncologist on hand to answer questions. A lot of people have asked me questions about the dinner. Is there anything you want to say about that or about how you felt about that dinner? Well, I mean, I knew that particularly someone like you would have more questions. And so for me to have my oncologist be there so that he could answer the questions, to sort of squash any doubts that people had or to comfort, I think it was just, it was more to help you guys. Yeah, I mean, I like to think I'm an MD, but I think it stands for mom doctor, not actual. I'm pretty sure it's mom not doctor. Not actual yes. MD, yes. yes. Okay, as special correspondent, my notes say I'm supposed to talk to you about the people in your life that have helped you get through this time. So I'm, I'm thinking specifically they're asking <laughs> about me, <laughs> but it actually doesn't say that. It actually says specifically your mom and Kurt, which I think has to be a misprint on my they, cards, they right? They excluded you probably, completely. Yeah, I mean, right, how have I been, no, I'm kidding. Uh, ha, but, but what, <laughs> all joking aside, do you appreciate? No, I'm not really at all. <laughs> how have you found the support from the people around you? You know, obviously you know how supportive that you've been. My mom has been a huge support, my husband. Um, and let's not forget about Bowie, who's been like the best dog ever. People come up to me all the time and they ask me about you. And all I can think about is that effect that you have. You know, I went through Brenda falling in love. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just can't control myself. No, don't fight it. I actually literally did because I knew you and I was your friend. And so I see the impact that that has on people. And so I'm so proud how public you've been about it. Nobody ever wants to see their friends suffer, but I think more than that, and I think this year has been proof of that, is that life is short and vulnerable for all of us. Yes. And we have to live each moment. Right, I mean, we were talking about this earlier, right? Is that everybody's terminal. I might live a lot longer than somebody who's perfectly healthy. You have no idea. Let's talk about Stand Up to Cancer just for a second here yes. because it is October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So yes, so I'm an ambassador for Stand Up to Cancer and Stand Up to Cancer, first off, they're leading the charge in research. When somebody says to me like, oh, do you think there's gonna be a cure? I'm like, yeah, yeah, because of, because of an organization like Stand Up to Cancer. I mean, I think a lot of people ask me too, like how has the pandemic affected you and the way, I mean, I know the answer is it hasn't. Right, as you know, I've been training for yes. this my entire life. Uh, I'm, I'm essentially a shut-in to begin with. Plus this whole not having to do my makeup, except for like some mascaras as a woman is amazing. I mean, it's genius. It's I, genius. between the mask and then a baseball hat, sunglasses, few, tr uh, you could be me. I could be you. Nobody would know. 